家好，我叫向杰尼，我是爱尔兰人，可是我的家人是华人、英国人、爱尔兰人。我的公司是 Chester b e a t y Library。The library is based in the grounds of Dublin Castle. Dublin Castle was established by the Normans a thousand years ago, and subsequently the British would have added to the original building built by the Normans, with a series of buildings from the 18th and 19th century. Chester Beatty was an American mining engineer, and he came to Ireland in 1950 with his collection. He had a great interest in Asia and collected a lot of Chinese scrolls. Rare objects such as rhino horn cups, jade tablets, silk robes, and other objects from the imperial family collection. Chester Beatty, when he was travelling in China in the early part of the 1900s, went to the Summer Palace in Beijing, and he saw some beautiful carved pieces of red and gold wooden furniture. And he liked them so much that he had copies made for his home in London. One being a bed made out of red and gold, and he had it converted into a chest, a storage chest for his collection of scrolls. We have a very important scroll dating from the 1600s. It's a painting of、uh, the everlasting sorrow, which is a well-known story in China. It tells the story of the emperor from the Tang Dynasty. Who lost his favorite concubine Yang Guifei, and he goes on a journey searching for her soul after she was killed by the emperor's soldiers. There are 17 jade tablets in the collection of the library, all coming from the imperial palace. The Chinese emperor would have believed in the properties of jade. Jade is known as being hard, durable, and also of its magical properties. And the emperor would have had his own handwriting inscribed in these tablets. Which some can be seen on display today in the library. Chester Beatty was in Asia in, in 1917, and according to our archives, he was in Beijing and he visited the Summer Palace, where he saw a beautifully carved ceiling, painted in red and gold. He liked it so much he had a copy made for his house in London, and subsequently the ceiling was moved to Dublin and to the library in 2000, and you can see it here in our reference library. I'm a quarter Chinese. My father is half Chinese. His grandfather came from mainland China in the late 1800s to South America, and there he settled and started a family. My grandfather went to Edinburgh to study tropical medicine, and there he met my grandmother, and they got married and settled in Trinidad, where they worked. And my father was born. My dad came to Ireland in the late 1940s and subsequently became a student in the 1950s, 60s, and he met my mother here in Dublin, and they got married. My first visit to China was in 2005 with my father. It was his dream to go and see China because he's never been there. We saw the Emperor's Warriors in Xi'an. We saw the Great Wall in Beijing, Temple of Heaven, the Forbidden City, and the fantastic city of Shanghai. The Shanghai Museum lent a collection of 38 painting scrolls to the Chester Beatty Library in February 2010. This took approximately six years of negotiations between Ireland and China, all through Mandarin. Our former curator of the East Asian collections, Dr. Shane McCausland, would have visited Shanghai on numerous occasions to agree to this loan. This is the first time Shanghai Museum has lent such paintings outside of its museum, and it's a triumph for Ireland to have housed these wonderful paintings in the Chester Beatty Library. In order to engage Irish people with the with the Telling Images of China exhibition, we went out and spoke to the Chinese community living in Dublin to find out who would be available to give workshops in Chinese calligraphy, painting, woodblock printmaking, tea tasting. And the general public were able to enjoy the workshops, the mahjong, as well as the lecture series. Dublin City Council's Chinese New Year committee invited the Chester Beatty Library to coordinate the Chinese New Year celebrations in the city. In 2009, and as well as in 2010, we've invited members of the Chinese and Irish general public to come in and participate in our public program of Chinese cultural events. Telling Images of China exhibition from Shanghai Museum was a core part of the Chinese New Year celebrations here in Dublin.